Yeah, that's that money talk. That's that money talk. Got a lot of fans, a lot of haters. We just let them talk. Cause them never faces to the paper. What you talking about? The earth will really shake it with this greatest that we throwing out, yeah. Came up in the game and gave it mouth to mouth. See some more. You got titty freedom. Oh, block is numbering me. I will ever kill him. I promise. What is up you guys? It's your boy T-Rust back with another video and today we are talking about the Dallas Cowboys so if you're down with that make sure you <laughs> smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications on because you know like keep that night gang strong. Let's get right into it. Alright so yesterday the Dallas Cowboys lost 34-24. Um, You never like to lose. I always say that when we lose. You never like to. It, it never feels good to lose. But um Right now, what I'm seeing from Dallas Cowboys is it's a learning process. We're still a young team. Um, you know, that's what I'm seeing right now. Um, this is the second straight game we lost. And the second straight game, or the third straight game, really, where we just came out slow. We came out really slow, and we didn't pick it up until the second half, all right? Um, Dak Prescott, didn't ha he had a decent game. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't. It wasn't. It definitely wasn't good, and it definitely could have been way better. But he was 27 for 44, 463 yards, two t two touchdowns, and three interceptions. The three interceptions is what makes it just you know not very good. Um, Zeke had 12 rushes, 62 carries. Um, he had he had a pretty good game for and a touchdown. He had a pretty good game for what um for what he was given. Um, so, um, and Amari went off 226 yards, a touchdown, and uh, also Michael Gallup, 113 yards and a touchdown, his first game back. But, um, yeah, it never feels good to lose, never. Um, but I'm not angry about the loss, I'm just disappointed in our team, alright? Because, you know, I watched this game and I'm like, we should have won this game, and that's the same way I felt, um about losing to the Saints we should have won that game you know there's no reason why we couldn't have won that game and it's just because you know without these crucial mistakes that we make because you look at the game you look at this game and you look at the Saints game I don't think they had any turnovers I don't think we had any, they had any turnovers and we had what we had three in each game we had three in each game, and we only lost by 10 in this one and two in the last one. So, first off, the mistakes got to go. They got to go. We play mistake-free games, we win games. That's it. That's it. We play mistake-free, we win games. Um, because, you know, you take those mistakes away. Not only are you taking points away from the other team, because that's, that's one of the reasons they're scoring, but you're also, you know... You're you're taking possessions away from them too, you know, and you're put you're you're probably putting points on our on our side because especially in this game we were driving down the field. Our offense was driving down the field. It was just the mistakes. Like we had more total yards than the Green Bay Packers. It's just when we got past the fifty, mistakes, sacks, holding calls, um, interceptions, drop passes, mistakes, just mistakes happen. And, you know, we we dug a hole for ourselves in this game. We dug a hole for ourselves. We were down by 28 at one point, I believe, in the third quarter. We were down by 28. We went into the half down 17-0. We got shut out. We got shut out in the first half. And it's just starting off slow. We got to stop doing that. We got to stop starting off slow. We got to come out with energy at the beginning of the game. We got to come out with some energy. And, um, you know... There were some there were some key moments in the game that still after all the mistakes blew us the game. The first one was Jason Garrett's um stupidity. I'm just gonna say his stupidity. Um or his not his stupidity, let me his frustrations with the ref. He was being stubborn. The ref told him um with Anthony Brown's um pass interference call. He told him Anthony Brown didn't turn his head. He didn't get. He didn't look at the ball, and he said, "Throw the flag if you want to, Garrett." And guess what Garrett did? Threw the flag because he's stubborn. He 
the ref bay him into throwing a flag, and Jason Garrett threw the flag. And to no surprise, the call wasn't reversed. I didn't expect it to be reversed because it was clear pass interference. It was clear pass interference. He didn't get his head around. It was clear pass interference. That was just Jason Garrett's emotions letting him get the best of him. And you can't do that. You know, I know you're frustrated because your team's down, but you can't let your emotions do that. You can't let your emotions do that. And that really cost us a challenge because, you know, we challenged the Amari Cooper call uh, where he caught the ball and it was a, it was obviously a catch and that was a good challenge. But after that, we were out of challenges. And the next drive, Michael Gallup gets, I don't like the most blatant pass interference I've ever seen. You know, he's pulling, Kevin King is pulling on Michael Gallup um, all through the play. And even gets him off of his route. And Dak throws an interception because of it. And you know, if we challenge that play, I truly believe um, pass interference is caught there. I believe pass interference is caught there. But, you know, it's just mistakes. Mistakes, mistakes. And at that point, we were down by seven. So, as like, as Dak Prescott, you can't, you can't force that. You can't force that ball to Michael Gallup. Even if you think he's holding. You can't do that. Because we were down by seven at that point. We had about seven minutes left. And um, we can, you know, we can take our time now. Because it's a one-score game. But, um, yeah, you can't force that ball. And Dak Prescott will be the first person to tell you that. He'll be the first person to tell you that he shouldn't have forced that ball there. And he'll be the first person to tell you that even though Mark Cooper dropped that first pass, that first interception, um, that it was behind him. That he should have threw it in front of him. He'll be the first person to tell you that. So, um, that's why I love Dak. That's why I love Dak. He's so, he's so um, mentally and um, just psychologically um, aware and just, he's so tough. He knows when he makes mistakes and he knows how to fix them. And he knows how to forget the last play and go on to the next. And that's what he preaches. We're, we're on to the next. He, he, he doesn't remember it. He doesn't remember the last play and he goes to the next play. And, um... Like I said, that's what he preaches. Um, just then, Aaron Jones on the other side of the ball killed our defense. And it's like our defense, our run defense, ever since the Rams game, it's like crazy. Like, why can't we tackle? Why can't we tackle? It's just so many guys missing tackles. Layton, Demarcus Lawrence only had one tackle, and so did Robert Quinn. That was surprising to me. Um, Jalen Smith, he, he was playing pretty good. Jalen Smith play, played pretty well. Um, but that whole front line, um, Dorrance Armstrong had a sack. That was a pretty good sack. It was a pretty good sack by Dorrance Armstrong. But um, in that secondary, you know, why aren't we why are we why are we still starting Anthony Brown? I've always thought Jordan Lewis was a better corner. You know. I and they're about the same size. I, why are we still starting Anthony Brown? I don't I don't like like he he never gets his head around and um he he made two crucial mistakes two crucial mistakes yesterday and they hurt us but um yeah i to me going into this game i thought we were going to stack the box and make them pass the ball cuz Devontae Adams is out the game their best receiver is Jimmy Graham they literally have Jeremiah Allison and Valdez Scantling are their other two receivers. And they had somebody else out there too. So like, why why aren't we making them pass? I know it's Aaron Rodgers. I know it's Aaron Rodgers. But make him pass. There's no reason not to. If if our corners can't lock up on those receivers, then there's some there's some reevaluating that needs to be going on. Cause we need to be able to lock up on them. We should stack the we should do what, what the Packers were doing. They were single, they were single cover string, getting pressure on the quarterback. We need to get pressure on Aaron Rodgers and um, cover down the field. And then the last point I want, the last point I want to make is Brett Maher. I, I caught the two kicks he was gonna miss. I could just feel it. I could feel just the way the game was going. And who Brett Maher is, the kicks he's missed, I could feel he was going to miss the 54-yarder. I could feel he was going to miss the 33-yarder. 
I could feel it. I didn't agree with kicking the 33 yarder. I thought we should have went for around fourth, fourth and five. Get the touchdown. We had already spent too much time. If we were gonna kick it, kick it with 225 left. Kick it with 225 left right when we got down there. Therefore, if we, you know, we say we go for our onside. We don't get the onside. We still got a timeout left and the two minute warning. That gives us about 120, even more than that. About, no, about, probably about 120 um, left on the clock to um, get down the field and score a touchdown. That's better than what would have happened. I, I thought we should kick the field goal if we were going to kick the field goal. Kick it at 225 when we got down the field in field goal range. Kick it at 225. You know, maybe we don't even have to um we don't even have to kick it onside. Just believe in your defense. Believe in your defense. That's what I thought we should have did. But you know, um that's just me. You know, let me let me know what y'all thought in the comments because um I thought we could have played that way better. Like I said, I feel like kick it at 225, that gives us two timeouts. Um and about the ball at 120, say we get the stop. So, yeah, that's just me, but, um, yeah, let me know what y'all thought in the comments, but, uh, yeah, the Cowboys lost 34-24, um, they play the Jets next week, that's when we should win, but, you know, you can't go into a game saying you're gonna win, you gotta, you gotta go out there and prove it, and, um, next week has to be a statement game, next week has to be a statement game, we gotta, we gotta show something, because, um, we gotta come out swinging, 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 swinging. Because today we got punched in the mouth. We got punched in the mouth. And it hurt. It hurt. We got punched in the mouth. This should be a wake-up call. This should be a wake-up call for everybody in that locker room. That, hey, yeah, we're talented. But we still got stuff to work on. Yeah, we're talented. Yeah, we got a lot of talent on this team. We got Super Bowl talent on this team. But there's still a lot to work on. But yeah, yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure you <laughs> smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications on. Make sure you share with everybody you know. And I'll see you for an hour. So, peace. Who you in? Shit, Dustin. Come on, say.